there's a moon picture behind me. Uh, actually, I made that like uh, like yesterday or something. I made it by uh, using Blender, so I thought that we could make something like that to, to uh, something like that together. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's get started, R right? Yeah. Uh, this piece is called Heretic Moonlight. So it's like this clouds and moon, moon, moonlight, uh, like this reddish color. Okay, that's about it. But yeah, I got inspired by another piece in Pinterest. Uh, we could use that as a reference. Okay, in Blender. So I got this reference here. It's that picture. So okay. Next, we need the moon texture to get a life a little bit easier. So. Uh, I got this link, pretty nice link, it's actually NASA link, so they know the space stuff, uh, so this is actual moon texture, you can download it, I downloaded it, so we're gonna use that texture, okay, download it to your computer and let's get things going, yeah, so we're gonna open a new blender file, so to get things started, we're gonna select everything, and delete everything okay then uh, we're gonna add a mesh uv sphere okay so i got the screencast keys on so you can actually maybe see something so we got the uv sphere here uh we're gonna subdivide it like once to get rid of the jagged ed edges so Press Ctrl plus 2 and OK. Then Object, Shade Smooth, yeah. And in my tactic, we're gonna actually duplicate the moon, get it right side of the other moon, and get it a little bit bigger because this is going to be the halo effects. So, OK. Uh, we're gonna add some naming so this is the moon the other sphere is like the emission like the halo effect and now we're gonna add some materials to our moon so okay let's go to the shading tab and now we are in the shading tab and we're gonna add first material to our moon so this is going to be moon material and for the moon material we're gonna add the texture we downloaded it so shift a texture and image texture and here we're gonna open uh, wherever you downloaded it so i have it on project moon here okay and now i'm gonna add the node to base color and to emission also so it's going to be a little bit emissive besides the base color but i'm gonna add another node and it's going to be color and brightness brightness and contrast node there so I can a little bit add some contrast there, okay. And now the other shader for the emissive moon effect moon sphere, okay. Gonna select that and add a new material. And for this, it's going to be a little bit easier. We're gonna just uh, click on the emissive color here and crank it up to the white color and hmm, this emissive amount let's go with 10 okay now it's emissive and if we go back to the layout here and oh okay so now we have two spheres but we're gonna add camera to our scene so it's important now we added a camera i'm gonna move it like uh, 15 
steps to the right. Oh, I mean left. So wait a minute. Uh, okay. So side view G Y minus 15. So it's 15 meters or something like units away from the first moon. And actually, my emissive moon is at the front position. So I'm gonna uh, move it move it quickly so selection the cursor and gy and there and now when i press number zero we are gonna go to the camera mode and now if i go to render view i can see like the moon has the texture on and the second moon i'm scaling it so i get the halo effect like in the picture a little bit and now i'm going to rotate the textured moon a bit so i got the moon texture like it's in the picture okay <laughs> nice and then we are going to go to this tab here it's it's uh, like the world tab and it affects the background it's now gray but we're gonna change that to black like that and next we are going to go to render options okay these are gonna be important so uh we're gonna change some values so render value uh, hmm, okay, maybe 128. Viewport can be 16. We're gonna enable bloom, and for radius, we're gonna put 9 there, and intensity is 0 0.05, so 0 0.08 is great. And then we gonna add uh, volumetrics here, and uh, maybe samples 128 volumetric lighting, but we also need volumetric shadows. So samples there, I think uh, 64 is kind of nice. Okay. So now we have the halo there. We can see that. So. Okay, it's it it's all right. Halo. <laughs> okay. So next, uh, okay. Mm. What we gonna need? We gonna need some clouds. So let's go into our camera and shift A. Uh, add some meta balls. Okay, there's the meta ball. This is gonna be our cloud mesh. Meta balls are kind of nice. Okay, G Y minus three, so we get to have this like a uh, distance from the camera a little bit different. I can scale it with S and grab it and shift it to du duplicate and this is going to be like the uh, volume like the our clouds like the cloud mass like uh, almost so first like like the like heavier spots like maybe there and there we are going to frame this picture with our clouds so i think the end result will be nice okay so heavier spots there and then I'm gonna copy and uh, scale oh 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 scale down that much so I can uh, put there some new clouds and there and there and maybe maybe there 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 okay maybe like that then gonna go to the side and put some cloud math there and there let's see okay maybe there a little bit like like that okay what's that okay I want to move that okay maybe there and scale it up a little bit okay go there and this there okay 
so we have in our scene collection we have great amount of meta balls and we're gonna select shift click select them all and go to the object uh, button here and then we're gonna convert to mesh so we have one mesh now and then shift a add volume empty okay and now we have volume empty here gonna go to the wrench uh, button here and press that add modifier mesh to volume and we did the cloud mesh and click that with the eyedropper tool now we have the uh, cloud mesh there okay and density i think uh, um, uh, okay maybe five then we add here some buttons so the camera button and screen buttons just so we can like uh, uh hide the meta balls from the scene view so we can see somewhat better and now we have to mesh the, uh, uh, i mean the clouds there okay we have the clouds and then we're gonna add some new modifiers and uh, like three times volume displays modifier for the volume okay and okay so you can see the three modifiers here so new 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 we we do like three volume textures okay this is like uh, you pay some attention and then <laughs> we're gonna get to the texture properties here and we're gonna have first volume displays texture it's gonna be clouds there and it's gonna be hard clouds okay then the next one we made three so this is going to be clouds also this is gonna be hard clouds and depth gonna be three and size gonna differentiate here so it's 0 0.45 okay and f4 and then the next one the last one and it's gonna be the clouds again but this time it's oh 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 okay oh wait a minute okay so my bad okay last one really okay first one that second one that one that one huh okay oh, okay so this is going to be soft clouds and size is going to be 0.8, okay? Okay, and depth 4. So now we have like uh, three volume displays modifiers with everyone with uh, their own texture here. And okay, that is kind of nice, I think. So we could add the voxel amount. So this is how how like uh, the resolution for the clouds. Okay. So uh, we're gonna test it out with mm, maybe two fifty six like that and okay then before we render anything we're gonna add uh, light sunlight and move it 15 units to uh, away from the moons and camera so it's the other way around okay and then we're gonna rotate it to face the moon like that then by zero, we're gonna go back to the camera and we could test it out rendering by pressing F12. 
I'm, I wanna see what's what's up with this. So. Let's see. So we have to make some adjustments, okay? Oh, we're gonna hide the meta balls from the render. In the render again. We don't want to see those meta balls in our render. They are just for the building the cloud meshes. So that's kind of a different thing. Okay, now our render looks like this. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, the reference picture. No, uh, well, it's kind of similar, similar. Uh, but we need to maybe adjust some things here. So our moon is a little bit too contrasty. So maybe tone that down a bit. Then, then we could. Go to the volume and add some density, maybe eight, because the clouds were kind of kind of light colored, and I could add with the volume selected, like a volume material, and adjust the color a little bit, like darker. Okay. And now I could test it out with rendering out again, just to see. It's nice to see the renders, you know. Nice to see the renders. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No worries. Oh. Okay. Here's our new render, and okay, we could a little bit change the cloud shapes because that's. That's something we could do to have a little bit different kind of layout for our clouds in the scene. We got, could like select some vertices and with proportional editing like move them around a bit like that and that. Then I could, uh, let's see, like Copy this little cloud, whoops, little cloud here, make it a little, like a little, little cloud there. Then proportional editing there, select connected only, so if I now like uh, edit it, it won't affect the other clouds, which are not selected even. So I can like make this, whoa, like longer like that. Scoop it around uh, so that we have like like this little wisp of a cloud here also. So okay, like that and that and that and that and there, like a little bit like like interest to the clouds, like that. Okay, then a quick render to see if the modification made any difference, you know? Yeah, okay! Yeah, so there are the gloves, I think. They are looking kinda nice. Kinda nice, so... I could do a thing, okay? Go here, select them all. Copy them, uh, flip them around, go to camera view, uh, like frame this a little more just to have like the visual interest there. Like, I don't know if, it, if it's too much already or not, but I think the this could work as of I could add here uh, like light, area light, grab it here, rotate it towards, towards the clouds, scale it up like huge, then in the middle of the clouds, like charge, go to light settings, 
power, maybe 200 watts. And yeah, let's try it out. Then, uh, if this works and the clouds look nice, we could add some stars to the background. And then, yeah, let's see. We are <laughs> okay. We are already doing so great. So let's let's go. Let's go. Where's our render? I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Kind of nice. I'm gonna do it. So okay. Now next next stuff. So we're gonna add. First we're gonna do a one star. So we're gonna add mesh. And UV sphere here, scale it like 0.2 and name it star like that. Then go to material, add new material. This is going to be star material and it's going to be emissive, like uh, maybe half tone gray and emission strength, maybe five. Okay. Then we are going to add mesh cube. This is going to be the star emit emitter. So it's going to uh, represent the volume of the stars we are going to make. So we're going to scale it up, way up. Then like uh, in fire frame mode, we're going to, gonna. whoa, okay. Okay, okay. Maybe that much and maybe there. Yeah, so so plenty of stars there going to be. Okay, so this is going to be the star emitter. But first we're gonna change the properties for the viewport here. So it won't block our sun and stuff. So it, we're gonna change the display as wire. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the with, okay, nibe uh, Oh, I mean, let's name this star, star emitter. Star emitter. Okay. Gonna go to the modifiers and add particle system. Okay. And then from here, press this uh, options button, and then uh, how many star we want? Okay. Uh, well, maybe twelve thousand. You know, that's plenty. Then, starting frame is one, ending frame is two hundred. But we are just doing one picture, so ending frame is one also. Okay. And then a render and render as object and scale randomness one and instance object is the star we made. Okay. And I think that was it. Okay, by pressing zero, we can go to the camera view and okay. Now we could try and render it out. So F12, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have the our inspiration image here. And now we are rendering out our 3D image. Let's see if it's uh, anywhere close to the one we are trying to replicate or or it doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same but i'm just demonstrating the wonders of 3d and like you know techniques <laughs> this is awesome you know you are awesome i hope you like this content okay we are waiting for the render machine is heating up it's rendering of one image with 12,000 stars. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Waiting here. You better render. Okay, where's my image? Okay, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so light outside, but why? What happened? Oh, now I remember, we forgot one
can't bother from the saw emitter. It's blocking the sunlight and all because here uh, we go to the set, uh, emitter settings and there's the checkbox for show emitter. We don't want to see the emitter, we want to see the stars. So oh, we gotta have to render again, okay? By pressing F12, the machine starts to render again. Yeah. Okay. I hope this is not too long of a video because there's so so many steps in this. But uh, maybe the main point is just to show what is possible and maybe inspire others and have a great time in the meanwhile. So yeah, the machine is rendering. I wanna see the moon. Okay. Was it so long last time? Okay. Wow. Okay. Here we have it. Uh, okay. The star distribution is a little bit funky. And there are plenty. But now I know why. Because as we go to the camera, we can see that the emitter is actually not fully in the view so if we like have it like this and then scale this in the x-axis like this and this we should get the stars in a better position and as you saw the star were all also like maybe too bright so we can <sighs> Change the emissive strength here to maybe maybe 2.2, okay. And now let's render a let's do a new render, okay? Yeah. So how have you been do doing lately? Leave a comment or yeah. Remember to subscribe and see my other videos. I hope to have some quality content coming out like more regu regularly. Re regularly, you, you know? Because, yeah, I've been busy like developing stuff and doing, doing like research and s s uh, stuff like that. Being a cat is a busy, busy stuff sometimes. Now we got the picture rendered, actually. And... As we can see, it actually looks... Kinda like the... A reference image al already. So... This is... This is actually really nice! So, next step... What we could do is... Go into the texture tab here and press new and here select drop down and noise. Okay. And then we could go to combo composition composition here. <laughs> composition, yeah. And to the volume section I'm going to get the image editor here and select like render result here because we are going to add the noise here so we're going to check the use nodes and here input uh, texture and we made the new noise texture so we are gonna uh, was it this one I think M might have been this one Actually, it wasn't this one. It, it, it's the it's the last one, I guess. Hey, I, I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Oh, it's texture number th number three. So it's this one. Okay. So we have texture node added, but we have to add a mix node also. So it's the mix node is 
color and mix and we're gonna mix the original image with the with the noise texture and it's going to be overlay and just just like a little bit it's actually according to one's taste how much noise how much noise we could add or want in our picture something like this maybe but uh, I think this isn't the final picture just yet because we could go to uh, our volume settings here and by adding the voxel amount like maybe 512 and then from the render settings okay okay now if we render we should have more definition in our clouds yeah like uh, those cloud voxels are really computational heavy but it, it adds a little bit of like details when we like uh, increase the voxel amount yeah okay let's see what kind of clouds we are going to have and okay as i showed you the other piece i had made uh, it had some colors and such uh, so that's kind of like a stylizing and maybe kind of easy to do you can change the lighting colors and moon colors and any colors you want and have have a like really nice looking like sky pieces but i like the like black and white stuff also like rainy stuff and black and white okay so now we now we can see like we have some additional detail like showing uh here with the clouds uh, yeah this is something that we like didn't blender only by like looking at the reference picture and okay we got the moon texture from nasa but okay yeah nasa is cool providing us with with textures so yeah we got pretty close to the reference picture yeah, I hope you liked the content uh, and uh, enjoyed the video. Maybe next time we do, do something else. Maybe with Blender, maybe with Unity, maybe maybe I do some gaming or... Uh, I don't know, it could be anything. Art stuff or just uh, speaking about being a cat or something, okay? So, I hope you enjoy your day and see you around next time. Okay, bye-bye!